Rebank Elementary Lesson 17. In this lesson, we learn two new notes, both E flats, and also a new rhythm, a dotted minimum or a dotted half note. Now, the two E flats. The first one that we learn is the E flat on the bottom line of the staff, and to play that, we're playing a D, and then we're adding our side trill key. So it will sound something like this. <laughs> The next note that we're learning is an E flat an octave higher than this one. So to play that one, we need all of our fingers again, like our D, and we add our top pinky, and that will give us an E flat, which should sound something like this. In exercise one, we're playing our B flat major scale. And if you look in the key signature, you'll notice that there are two flats. We've got a B flat and an E flat, so we're using both of these two new E flat notes. Exercise one. One, two, three. <sighs> Exercise two. Now take note, this one is in cut common. One, two, one. <sighs> Exercise three. Now don't forget your E flats, and also we're still in cut common. One, two, one. <sighs> In exercise four, we're introduced to our new rhythm, our dotted half note or our dotted minim. Now in the first two bars, it's been written out as a minim and then a crotchet with a tie or a half note and a quarter note with a tie. However, halfway through, you'll notice that instead of doing that, they just simply put a dot next to the note. And that means that we need to hold it for one and a half times the value of the original note. So the original note was worth two, the half of two is one, we add it together and we get three. So a dotted half note or a dotted minimum is worth three beats. One other thing to note is that in the second line, you'll notice there's a little asterisk underneath the C. And that's because we're coming from an E flat, which means that we can't play our C by just clonking down our pinky from one key to the other. The better way to do this would be to use our alternate C, which means we need our left hand lever. So just make sure in that bar, we're going from an E flat to the alternate left hand lever C, and that will make for a much smoother piece. Exercise four. One, two, one. <sighs> And finally, exercise five. Nothing too tricky in this one. There's just a lot of quarter notes or crotchets, which means that it feels a little bit faster because we're still in that cut common. One, two, one.